Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing how to prepare for abdominal short cases. So abdominal station is a relatively straightforward station that all candidates should aim for a clear pass. Nothing much that you can palpate in the abdomen which includes 1 enlarged liver, 2 enlarged spleen, 3 enlarged kidney or transplanted kidney, 4 enlarged bladder, 5 tumor arising from liver, kidney, adrenal gland but unlikely to be seen in exam, 6 fecal mass in patient with constipation. Therefore, try to practice as much as you can know. 1. How to describe the mass you palpated. 2. How to come out with the age-relevant differential diagnosis. 3. How to assist complications related to the diagnosis. 4. How to go on with discussion on investigation and management. Other than that, be familiar with the abdominal scars and suggest the possible surgery done based on the scar and the physical findings you found. Some special scenarios like nutritional assessment, rare in exam. Approach to a child with back with Weidman syndrome are also discussed in this chapter. Be careful when you palpate the child abdomen. Make sure the exposure is adequate. Cover areas not needed for examination with blanket. Uncovering a child, especially a teenager, without good justification will grant you a fail in exam. Make yourself comfortable by sitting on a chair or squat down if the bed is too low before you start examining. Ask if there is any pain before you start palpating the abdomen. Watch the patient's face as you palpating the abdomen. Be gentle and not to induce pain. If you can master the above skills well, you should be able to score a clear pass in this station. A list of abdominal short cases commonly come on exam. 1. Thalassemia major and thalassemia intermediate. That is more commonly seen in Malaysia and Singapore. 2. Hereditary spherocytosis more commonly seen in UK. 3. Sickle cell disease, more commonly seen in UK. 4. Glycogen storage disease, type 1 and type 2. 5. Infectious mononucleosis. 6. Renal masses, that is both unilateral or bilateral. 7. A child with chronic liver renal failure. 8. A child with transplanted kidney. 9. Neurogenic bladder. 10. Fecal mass in a child with constipation. 11. Biliary atresia, post cassai procedure. 12. A child with transplanted liver. 13. Chronic liver disease, 14, a child with cystic fibrosis and chronic liver disease that more commonly seen in UK and 15, a child with an abdominal scar, post-intestinal surgery in Crohn's disease. So this is all about this video.